everyone. This is Tennessee Hoplite doing a bag review. I have recently uh, taken another job where I'm going to be traveling a bit more again and I was looking for a laptop bag. So uh, I have a roughly a 15 inch laptop and I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So those are the two requirements here for a laptop bag. This is a small bag and it said that it fit a 13 inch laptop. So I knew that already I would only be traveling with a MacBook at this point, which that was fine. And also another purpose of the bag was a concealed carry option. So this bag, the special ops bag, is billed as a double as a range bag. It's used by Navy SEALs and military special ops forces. And it has a convenient handgun holster. All these things were very appealing to me. I got this from CheaperThanDirt.com. As always, those guys are stellar in their prices, service, the whole thing. So uh, let's look at the bag. Um, give you my opinions of it. First thing you have is a as a laptop bag. You have your standard uh, kind of feature set here. If we open this up, we cannot pull it all the way down unless we undo these Velcro straps here on the side. So let's take care of these guys. This will allow the bag to lay down in kind of an admin style bag, which you know, we're pretty accustomed to in most of our traveling style bags. You also have some pals webbing on the front. Uh, it's not real stiff, uh, yeah, so you can attach these little pouches that come with it. Um, I would probably take these pouches off. They don't uh, serve a real good purpose for me anyway. Um, they're kind of gangly. I think I could find some better pouches to put on the front. Anyway, back to the laptop portion. So if we uh, continue zipping down the bag, You'll see you have kind of your standard laptop uh, layout here. We have a little standard section here with a place where you can put an ID or cards or whatever. A couple of mesh pouches here. Here we have a mesh pouch, zipper, some uh, little ink pen, whatever holders. Uh, a very, very narrow. You can, I tried putting like a 1911 mag in there. Uh, really was super tight. Same thing over here. Another pouch here. It's got a little bit of padding in it. We've got uh, pouches here. A little pouch here. And then uh, one of the major drawbacks of the back for me is your holster. And uh, it's just a little flap there. We'll come back to that in a minute. So that's that. Uh, the second part of the bag was the actual laptop compartment. And in the laptop compartment, you have a pull-out padded sleeve here. Now, just looking at the sleeve, if I put my MacBook in the sleeve, it barely fits. To give you an example of the size of this, I'm going to put like a, let's see here. Let's uh, throw an iPad on there. So I've got an iPad with an OtterBox on it. So uh, you'll see it's a pretty um, small compartment. This with my MacBook in here would not slip into the bag properly. MacBook by itself actually goes in here. There's not a whole lot of padding and you've kind of negated the purpose of having a padded sleeve. So unfortunately just as a laptop carry bag it will not work for me. So uh, it's uh, not going to fly. So there's that. So now let's look at the uh, pouches on the back as well as the concealed carry options. The zippers are pretty smooth. Uh, they're not YKK or anything like that, but they're they're fairly smooth zippers. Uh, you have a pretty nice kind of grab handle here. Right there. Got a place you can put a name tape or whatever you want to put there. Uh, you have your other concealed carry option here. And it unfortunately, it's a repeat of more of the same that's in the other side as well as some more palace webbing on the back. So let's look at these holsters and talk about my issues with it. We'll start with the inside holster. And for the record, for all of the gun geeks out there, oh yeah, we do have a little keychain uh, holder there. Missed that. Um, for all the gun geeks out there, all of these firearms have been checked prior to uh, this video, and uh, they are presented 
but they're semi-automatic with the breeches open and there's no magazines in the guns as well so uh, but uh, we'll look at those so what I want to do is look at this concealed carry pouch or holster that they have built in there and go over a lot of the most commonly carried from a size perspective firearms at least that I see people in most of the forums so what we'll start with is a standard full-size firearm which if you're carrying a bag of this size you would think hey I can carry my full-size firearm I can do that in most of my other bags my 511 bags and stuff like that they I can usually carry no problem so let's start off with a Glock 22 and um, so there you go we're clear all the guns are like this no mag so um, if we uh, pull this guy open and we place our firearm in the holster you'll notice that this protrudes very highly above the zipper I don't like jamming my zippers over this and you see the tension I'm putting downward just stretching that bag out to even get it to fit down in there don't like that that lets me know right away this bag's probably not gonna hold up very well for me because I'm gonna stress that out if I try to carry this pistol so not gonna work so let's go with a maybe something a little smaller maybe a Glock 23 same scenario well we're a little better but uh, we're still hitting at the top there so still not a good carry option for me so let's go with, you know, uh, something a little smaller. Caltech PF9. Clear. Clear. And this actually will fit no, is no issues. I could carry this firearm. But the problem with this is, is I can carry a PF9 in my front pocket. So this really doesn't buy me anything. LCP. Yeah, of course, you know, it's a little baby. The firearm it's just going to totally disappear and let's look at like a you know a j-frame size style revolver you know that would fit okay so from for a primary carry option for me i would want to carry a larger firearm this bag's not going to work for me in that regard either so uh all the way around this bag is not going to work for me it's not going to work as a laptop bag because i can't fit a 13 inch laptop in there which is what it says it's supposed to do with the included padded sleeve and it does not work for a concealed carry option for me because once again I can't carry anything but really smaller firearms that I can usually carry in my pocket or are easily concealed in other ways. If I'm going to carry a bag of this size I want to carry a full size firearm or at least a Glock 23 something that's a, at least a compact uh, larger style firearm instead of these subcompact guys like the PF9s or like a car or something of that nature. It's just, it doesn't work for me. So, anyway, that's my review of this bag. Just wanted to kind of show everybody the bag. I haven't seen any reviews of this on YouTube or anything, and um, it just showed up in Cheaper Than Dirt. And, you know, I find a lot of value being able to go out and research stuff before I buy it. And, you know, hopefully this will prove valuable to somebody. Anyway, this is Hoplite. Uh, have a good one. I'm out.